Hey guys, welcome back to Bait and Tackle. Today is, you guessed it, number two video for the creepy crawlers. And I'm gonna try some different ones. We're gonna do a spider and a bat. We're gonna do an octopus. Maybe do this little mini lobster. And then, unless I destroy the molds first. And then we're gonna do this giant frog. Maybe some of these bugs, I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll get into it. And I'm gonna do this lizard and this rat. And we're, I got some pre-made colors already ready to go. I've got some green pumpkin, and I've got some orange with black flake. And I think we're gonna do those two together like as a color combo. And then I've got this green, emerald green with gold flake in it. And we're gonna use that with this gold with gold flake in it. And we're gonna try to combo two of those up for something different, a little bit different. I'm thinking maybe like, the frog and the lizard maybe we'll do like some green on the on the bottom or you know what i mean it'll be on the top of the bait and then like the belly will be the gold so we're going to try a couple different things and i'm going to get out the hot plate on this one so we're going to try to heat up the molds first and then we'll do some pouring so kind of excited about this stay tuned let's do it okay guys here we go i have a new microphone i actually have a little wireless mic on my chest now so that when we fire up the fan um, hopefully it won't be as loud. So what I'm going to do right now is get out the hot plate, get that plugged in, and we're going to go ahead and lay our molds out that we're going to do. And we're going to get this heated up. And I've got my colors, so I'm going to go ahead and start heating up the colors as well. Now I'm going to try to follow this kind of like what we do with our normal plastics when we're doing our swim baits. I'm gonna to try to follow the same temperature. These are a little small. These won't take much heat to get them up. So I'm gonna just start really, really low and we're just gonna get the plastic hot and just try it. All right, so we got our plastic heated up and like I said, we're gonna do green pumpkin and orange. And I am experimenting with this new wireless mic and so bear with me, hopefully it's okay. This is up to temperature. I just got it at 200. Those feel nice and warm. They're about 130 something degrees, 140, something like that. Now if I go back out on there, 140. So that's pretty good. I just want them to get warm. So I think what we're gonna do is do the octopus first. And what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking, and let's do, let's do a green pumpkin body. do the rest. I gotta hurry up before that green pumpkin kind of overtakes. Do the rest of the fins, or the rest of the tentacles. Do orange. So yeah, I don't care if it blends together, we can fix it afterwards. So the heat really helps move the plastic around in the mold. So doing this on the hot plate really helps. So let's do this again, except let's do this little lobster. Maybe we'll do this crab too. Let's do this crab too. I mistakenly poured two of the claws and I didn't really mean to. So might have some green pumpkin claws there, but I wanna just touch on this little tail here. Just give it a little orange and then get all these fins, all the tentacles, the legs on this guy. So I'm gonna let that kind of roll over on top because I know it's nice and hot. As I say, you probably don't need much because it's so hot that it just, it'll just it even and lay itself out. So then I'm gonna go ahead and let's do the spider. And I wanna do him a green pumpkin body, just like the octopus and stuff. I'm gonna do orange legs. entire bottom of him will be orange probably just because I'm gonna do the legs here in the front there, orange too. But 
let's just see how these come out. I'm just kind of curious. I think this would be kind of cool. Do some multicolored baits. And I'm going to leave the butt of that spider green like that. So let me see if I can get this guy out of there. Because for the bat, I was thinking the opposite. I was thinking orange bat by itself. Like that. And then quick go in with the green pumpkin to do the wings. And then maybe even go over top of the belly. I don't know if this is going to blend or not, just because of how hot the plastic is, but we're going to try it. And I'm just going to let it blend together like that. So that, that we'll, we'll see how that comes out. Hopefully it, hopefully it comes out okay. All right, sorry, I touched the microphone. I got to get used to not touching my throat or chest or whatever just because the microphone's there. Okay, so the frog and the lizard, I want to do those with um, the green and gold. But let's do the rat. Let's do, let's just do a green pumpkin rat. Let me get rid of this plastic here if I can. Try to get cut off of this. And the plastic, I went ahead and, and got it up to about uh, 350. And I, I did go ahead and degas it, but there might still be a little bit of bubbles in it because I wasn't really too crazy concerned. Come on. One more. One more drop. Perfect. Other paw. Perfect. These are very, very tedious molds. Like they're very, there's, see, and I just, I just screwed it up because I overpoured the whole friggin' thing. But if you take your time, these are very small for compared to some of my other molds. Like if I showed you another mold, let me go get another mold, I'll show you guys side by side. But if, if you looked at both of them, you could tell like an open pore mold how big the cavities are compared to these tiny ones but look at look at see that i mean that's a four inch frog but look at that that's even longer than the mold itself so you now you get a size reference on how small these things are but let's go ahead and do like a let's do like well we got the green pumpkin let's go ahead and do like this beetle we'll do a green back let it fill into the head a little bit. Do this one too. But it looks like they're filling in pretty well. With the the heat definitely helps. So now if I go back and just go ahead and go over the legs. And I'm just going to try to like dump over let the heat take it in to the to the legs. You really have no choice with how small this is. I mean, you would have to be the best pourer in the face of the planet to get stuff this small. And like I said before, I, I really highly recommend some other bait makers try this. I want I want somebody else to try this so I've got some kind of a feedback or some kind of baseline. And I think what I'm going to do with this package is I'm actually going to box this up and I'm going to ship it to another bait maker that I know that I'm pretty sure he wants it. And I think he's going to do a YouTube video on it too, so that'll be pretty exciting to see that. All right, so we're going to leave those hot. We're going to go ahead and heat up our other two colors. And then we're going to come back and pour the frog and pour the lizard. I got a little bit in that one. And don't do that with your fingers because it really hurts. It's really hot. But I'm going to go ahead and do this guy and this guy. And maybe we'll use the golden green to like do like the star. We can do the star. We can get that little bit of orange out of there from that octopus. We can get that out of there. Maybe we'll go ahead and do the star gold. That would be kind of cool. I don't know what we're going to do with it because it's so small. But let's just have fun with it. So let me do that off camera and I'll come back and we'll, we'll pour the rest. All right, I think what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to move these around just so I can get a little bit closer to you. So we're gonna do that one first, do this one second, and then we'll finish those two right there. 
Okay, so what I think I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do gold first. This is the gold we're using. Really nice color. And I'm going to try my hardest to go down the center of this lizard. Let me stop right there. And this guy. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in, but I want to go up the tail, and I'm going to let it run back down the body, okay? And maybe I'm going to go ahead and fill it up just a little bit more, especially towards the snout. There it goes. Okay, so hopefully I didn't do too much in there. Then I'm going to go over top of it with this green with gold flake. So here goes nothing. Hopefully, and actually, you know what? I'm just going to give that a, a second. And it is coming down in temperature, but I'm going to let it kind of try to set up just a little bit. And I'm going to start on the big guy first. I'm going to do the legs. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to do this. And it's kind of blending. I can already see it blending. That's okay, that's okay. I want it to kind of look a little natural. But I also want the gold to kind of be the main color there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and try to fill in the tail. Let that run down a little bit. That one I think is set up already. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the legs, but I wanna go ahead and keep the body with the gold on top. I think it's doing a good job, actually. Yeah, I think it's, that's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in these other little claws. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna very slowly fill in the rest of this top of this mold. I don't think it needs much. Just enough to fill in the frog to make it a full body. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got them all poured. Oh, and I was told you I was gonna do, I wanna do the starfish gold. let it work its way out. That might actually pour pretty perfect. Wow, that's that's awesome. So that worked out really well. This uh, this crab, let's see if we can do this. Let's do a gold or a green body. Just a little bit of green there. And then let's go ahead and do the rest gold, all the claws and the legs. Let's just see what it does. Such a small mold, I overdid it right there. But hopefully it'll just fill in. Come on, <laughs> I guess that last drop's not gonna go. Okay. So we're heated up. I'm gonna leave the heat as, as it is. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. I'm gonna pull the heat, unplug it, and I'm gonna let this cool down for a little bit. And then I'm gonna come back. We're gonna take them out of the molds. I'll show you. Then I'm gonna go ahead and let them cure for a little bit and some cool water just to get them cooled down. And then what I'll do is I will trim them up and then we'll take a look and see what we've got like as a final product to just see how they came out. Well, I turned the, I turned the, um, the duct off, the, the vent that is so loud normally, but I'm gonna, I went ahead and put the, the wireless mic back on. We're gonna check this out. Oh yeah, that looks so cool. All right, so it's a little stuck together with this bat, but how's that guys? Nice bright orange legs with that green body and it kind of like blended 
down towards the head. Maybe a little bit of green got on the legs too. That's kind of cool. Looks very natural. It's real dark down here by the tip and real light up here at the, at the front. That's awesome. I like it. So we got that. Let's check out the bat. Here we go. Ready? Uh, I'm not sure what you would do with this for a bait, but... Oh, that came out cool too. So once I trim everything around it, that came out pretty neat as well. Definitely subtle with that orange body and the orange head. A little bit out the front of the wing there and the legs and then it's green pumpkin the rest of the way. That's pretty cool. All right, what else did we do that was green pumpkin? Oh, the octopus. Yeah, this one's kind of cool. I'm kind of excited about this one. Let's see. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these out, show you guys, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them in water soak. So that's orange legs, octopus, with a green pumpkin head. That came out pretty cool too, and it kind of like, because I poured them hot, it like blended a little bit together, so it kind of lightened up the color. So that kind of came out really cool. So again, like what I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh man, it's a little tough to get on here. I'm gonna go ahead and trim these up. I'm gonna let them soak for a little bit first, and then I'm gonna trim them up. Look at that! It's so cool. The gr body is green pumpkin, and the legs are orange, and the claws a little bit. That's awesome, man. That's cool. And then we did this rat. I just did him all green pumpkin because I wasn't really sure how that was going to come out. And it came out okay. And I, I may or may not trim him up. I may just leave him alone. So we'll see. It came out okay. These are the ones I'm excited. Oh, actually, let me, let me do these other orange green pumpkins first. So two bugs, two beetles, both green pumpkin bodies with orange legs. That came out cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim those up too. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend some time trimming these up and then we'll then I'll um, we'll come back and after you know I let them soak for a little bit. Let's let's do actually let's save him for the last. I think he's gonna be the coolest. Let's do this, let's go ahead and do the salamander. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Check it out. So it stayed gold on the top part, top portion. And then the green with the gold flake went out to the legs. So that actually kind of came out cool. It's like gold down the back and then it stops there and then the rest of it's the green. So that, that's a cool color combo. I like that. that. That came out really cool. So let's go ahead and do the big mammy jammy, the big frog. And him I wanted the back gold. Yeah, check it out. So the back's gold. And the uh, the legs are green, definitely like the other ones. But but I got the gold to go down the tail, so that that came out really cool. Very cool bait. Okay, I gotta hurry up because I think the battery's dying on the camera. But I just did a little bit of a little bit of the green in the middle of that one with the with the gold. But that eh, that came out okay. So I, I may not trim that one up. And then the starfish was just all gold, and that actually came out perfect. Just a perfect little gold starfish. All right, so we got them, got them all done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the water to soak for a little bit, just to get them uh, cured up a little bit more before I start cutting them, because I want them to be a little bit harder when I cut. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of the rat and the uh, the crab. I, I, I can't, he's got two colors in him, so I'm just gonna Set them off to the side. But these ones I'm gonna go ahead and trim up, the rest of them, and we'll see what we got and see how perfect they come out. All right, well, we finished up what we could. There was only one bait that I didn't trim all the way and it was this little tiny uh, lobster. And I just, it, it's just so small and to try to get all those little appendages is just so hard. So I'm just not gonna bother with that one. But the rest of them, we did fairly well. Um, the bigger ones obviously are a little bit easier to trim and I, I didn't trim in between the toes uh, probably like I should have, but came out really cool. The gold and the, and the green combo worked really well. So that could be something cool. 
But as far as making baits go, I mean, this is the second time that I've actually tried this uh, Creepy Crawler set. These are just way too small to make baits with, in my opinion. Uh, and I'm not an expert person at pouring either. And here's the here's the octopus. And I trimmed in between all his, his appendages. So that could be kind of cool. But it's again, these aren't thick either. They're not meant for fishing, really. I mean, they don't have really a body to them. You could put a real lightweight hook on these. The beetles came out pretty good. I trimmed those pretty, pretty easy. Did around all the little appendages. So those would, would shake a little bit. Maybe better if it was softer plastic. But uh, again just something to do just something for fun just because you know something to do and i just thought it was a neat little project to try to get involved with so again the star came out kind of cool but again what would you use that for would you throw that on a tiny hook throw it in the ocean i, I don't know the bat i mean what what could you do with the bat i mean he, it kind of flops a little bit so it, it could be it could be pretty useful it's got it's still got a thin body though that's the only problem the salamander i think that and the frog probably would be the best to get hit by something um the gold and the green that color combo right there is pretty awesome i trimmed the best i could around his tail it was kind of tough i was using a exacto knife and a pair of shears to try to cut the best i could but it still wasn't perfect so again i mean just to play around with sure this is a cool little set and the spider that that's probably the best in my opinion it's got a thick decently thick body the appendages are amazing and they are independent from each other i trimmed everything out in between them but again it just it'd be forever trimming all these appendages but that would get bit definitely so again cool project i'm really stoked how everything turned out but i'm gonna pass it like i said i'm gonna pass this along to another friend of mine another bait maker and I want to see what he can come up with I want to see what what he has in mind for maybe some different colors at least or maybe he can try maybe he can do something a little bit different so that he can trim up the appendages a little bit easier but these are just they're not meant to I mean they're not super sharp edges you really can't but again you're really not doing them on all the little the little legs and stuff like that maybe maybe you can I don't know, but I'm going to pass it along, let somebody else do it, try it, see what they think of it, maybe make a video out of it, but time consuming wise, it's, it's very time consuming to trim between all these little appendages. All right, well that's going to wrap it up for today's video guys, I really hope you enjoyed that. Creepy Crawlers Part 2, such a cool little set, just something cool to just play with, experiment with. Made some really, really interesting baits tonight, some different colors, some orange and green pumpkin which is one of my favorite color combos and i mean that spider is just going to get destroyed but again i didn't make too many i just made one of these i didn't make a ton of them they're just so time consuming to trim in between every little appendage and leg and it's just it's it's crazy and the and the lizards came out really cool the frog came out pretty neat just put something really neat to experiment with just something different but again i probably won't be doing i'm going to pass like i said i'm going to pass this along to someone else and I'm going to let them give it their shot. And I think we're just going to continue making on, just making some more videos on probably different molds. So I think the next one coming up might be a uh, turtle mold from another bait company from actually Canada, I believe. And we'll, we'll get into that in the next video. But I think I'm going to stick to that for a little while, just doing individual molds so you guys can see the different types of molds and what you can do with them kind of thing. Not go super in-depth, but we'll just shoot them with different colors and just try different things. So thank you guys for watching so much. And I, I think after seeing or using this set twice now, I'd say that I might be looking for a spider mold. So if anybody's got any ideas or any place that I can find a spider mold, let me know. Because I think I might be, that might be something pretty interesting to get, like an injection mold, spiders, or maybe even just an uh, open pore. That'd be fine. That'd be cool too. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and remember, keep on baiting.